by the greetings. Today is second day of September and I'm trying to show you these very fast, very quickly running beetles. Yes, today we will be studying the drug story beetles. And so a uh, very common note in a drug story. This is famous name because this beetle is damaging everything, even some drugs. So you, did you recognize these tiny small brown beetles running around? We are just here with old cereals. Yes, in this jar after yogurt I put here some old cereals and they have been eaten totally by these tiny beetles and they are running around. So they are running so fast because they just emerged drugs, Tory beetles or biscuit beetles. So can you recognize small emergence holes in the cereals? Yes. Each small piece of old cereals damaged inside the larvae. Now different beetles emerging and they are running and flying very fast. How to get rid of them? Yeah, this is a question. This is a big question indeed. And so let's look for them from the short distance. And for that I put them inside right, yes, petri dish. In a petri dish we are not so dangerous. So we are not running around. So we are sitting inside. Possible to look on, on them carefully and speak about them. Well, how to get rid of them? How to avoid them? Yes, everything is falling down because of such tiny and dangerous beetles. Yes, do we really making any damage in your house? Actually, it's a big question. And so and they do some damage because they can eat many, many different products in a story. Despite their named drugstore beetles, they eat everything from plants. So they can eat different herbs, spices, they can eat dry cakes, dry bread, yes, some cereals. Any small piece of dry bread will be eaten not by beetles. Beetles are not feeding on at all by their larvae, because larvae laying about they're laying inside the product, for example, inside the dry bread. And so they're like white maggots inside, and they will eat everything like dry bread, cakes, spices, cereals, herbs, herbal teas, herbariums. Some insects collection can eat as well, because larvae do like some organic substances for their food. Here you can recognize small pieces of oat cereals, very useful. These beetles very fragile. They look like very tiny elongated pieces and they are very fragile, easy to damage them and kill them just by fingers. Very easy. But they are very fast, so that's why we are flying very quickly and can be hidden anywhere just around. And then we will be slowly searching for food. Female will lay more than 100 eggs. And so the generation next one will be very, very large. And so the next generation will be growing extremely fast. And number of beetles will be so much that any of the products, dried spices, cereals, will be damaged so much that because of the substances after feeding some urine, feces will be inside food. It's not recommended to eat this type of food which have been infested and damaged by these beetles. Actually, damage will not be so visible because larvae will be inside the capsule, inside the cereals like in small tiny capsule. So, but nevertheless they are feeding, they are damaging food and also so making some phy physiological processes. So that's why food will be slowly contaminated and containing 
different products or physiology of these beetles. So do not eat it, if not so much necessary. Just throw it away. Even don't try to feed on your pets with damaged food. How to avoid them? First of all, of course, you can make some spraying with insecticides, with pyrethrum. Anyway, just simple spraying. You can spray with water with a liquid of liquid soap, just to avoid them. But the best way, just to hide all your products in sealed containers to avoid damage or just come in beetles inside these products. So sealed containers, packages, jars will be better protection. And of course if you've just found some beetles, try to check these products on infestation. If the infestation is just small, just few beetles, you can kill these beetles very easily just putting them to freezer either to for heating in your oven or be, but in oven you can damage your products but if you can freeze your products your spices your teas anyway just it's very safe beetles will die just after night larvae will die and so next junior eggs to inside these products so next generation will not appear in this at least slightly damaged product. It is highly damaged with very tiny smashed tiny pieces of different food. Just try to avoid usage of this food because contaminated food is not good for, for health. So smell will be different, taste different and it's not healthy. So anyway, just very difficult to avoid them in a kitchen, in a room, in a house, because they are flying very fast. They can come from to your kitchen from in other places, just from outside, from the street, from the wild. Yes, because if you have some light, and actually everyone just has a light on balcony, on window. These beetles were very easily flying in the direction of light and so they can penetrate your balcony and come inside the room and then they are good seekers for different food, for different tree, herbs, spices, cakes, dry bread and slowly piece by piece will infest small open materials, open grains, damaged grains and will slowly, slowly eat these grains and eat your products. Pet, pets food as well, dry pets food, not, not wet, not canned food, of course dry. Dry capsules of pets food for dogs and cats, very common, very easy damaged and will have just a lot of tiny holes inside the small cereals like these oat cereals. And cereals as well, just try to seal them in a package, don't put it just outside open, because tiny beetles, they can penetrate the package, they can sometimes make damage even in packed food, because they can easily make in emergence holes, rounded holes inside outside packages, we're making rounded hole and image outside and fly away just to the window, to the light in a room, or just outside searching for a new infestation, for a new source of food somewhere in your stock or maybe in neighbors, anywhere else. So these are tiny drugstore beetles, very common. They are not so disgusting there because they are very tiny, very fragile as I said. But nevertheless, they are not dangerous for humans, they are not poisonous, they are not biting, not at all. But still they are making kind of irritation and definitely sometimes they can damage some packed food, especially spices and dry bread, not carefully packed somewhere, especially in kitchen or some 
pets food as well, as I said. Because they are very good penetrators of different small open packs. And after them you can find them because they will make a lot of holes. A lot of holes. If you have some problems, ask your questions and write your comments under this video. If you have, you have some beetles in your kitchen and your room, ask your question under this video because beetles were very different. It looks like this, but in your naked eye very difficult to differentiate them, to identify them. Only specialists, only the entomologists like me or other entomologists with a good qualification can identify correctly the pest, the beetle or other insect or invertebrate animal which is making irritation or just damage of your food. So that's why ask experts and specialists if you have some problems with insects or another small invertebrate animals. And of course you can ask freely, free of charge questions here under this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, write your comments, ask questions and press like. Subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. Next video will be coming soon about new generation of these bisky beetles or drastora beetles or maybe another dangerous beetles. Will be interesting. Thank you for watching and write did you have any problems with these beetles in your kitchen or maybe other beetles? Will be interesting to know where you are living or what kind of problems did you have with different pests in your kitchen or in your house. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel.